So this is my 3D printed case for the PortaVac H2. Um, it's extremely solid, protects uh, the screen, exposes all the functionality. Uh, internally, my Hacker F and the PortaVac has the, a battery and the, a small speaker inside. Um, so I wanted to share how did I assemble the, the unit. A uh, few details if you are going to 3D print one and also how did I design the, the thing. So first uh, you need eight uh, self-tapping screws. These are M2.8 size. It's a little less than three millimeters. Uh, I, I don't know the, the imperial measurement, but the length in the of the top ones uh, are 10 millimeter and the bottom ones are eight millimeter. It can be nine and nine, but I haven't found nine um, that size, so it's better to get uh, eight and ten. Uh, also, you might need um, a 3D printed pen because these are holes for the LEDs, and I use this with a um, translucent filament to fill the holes. You can fill the holes with uh, glue, maybe, or whatever, or leave the holes if you want, but. Um, 3 printed pens are, are cheap enough. Um, so this is a two case, uh, two part case. The, um, the top part, these are for the buttons. You can see that the, 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 the screw, screw towers are, um, uh, larger than the bottom ones so that's why you need uh, larger screws for that side so you place the PCB on top uh, you need to align first the um, the headphone jack uh, this is the hole I was telling you uh, about the the charging circuitry um, and that's all you you put the screws and in the middle there is um, two of these you have to print and be careful with the orientation because um, they fit only one side. Uh, in the Hacker F, there is um, a shielding, and so you flip that in the in the side that there is a shielding. Um, the bottom one, uh, it's the same. The only most complicated part is that you first go with the antenna here and the buttons. You make sure that the buttons are freely, uh, like you can press them freely inside. And then the two um, clock input and output, uh, you have to press them and, in, in place. And uh, there is a small uh, indentation in the case, so everything is going to snap fit, like it's going to make a sound. <clears throat> and then you join the two parts and screw everything. Uh, it's important to, to at least have one set of screws that have um, a pointy tip instead of a flat one. So I use... Um, the eight millimeters are flat and the the ten millimeters are pointy because that's easier for aligning everything at the end and closing the the whole case. Um, so briefly, how did I make the thing? In case you you want to make a a similar project, so uh, you start with the with the three D representation of the electronics. Uh, this. In this case, I design uh, the whole the whole structure from from measuring my own device, but uh, you can export the thing from like Eagle or some PCB designer software. Um, after designing the um, all the electronics, I created a different version with thicken, so every part has a little of offset to increase the size because uh, um, it needs to fit in the real world. Uh, so when you print, uh, there is some tolerances. So uh, usually I add 0.3 millimeter, 0.5, depending on the fit I want. The buttons, for example, 0.5, um, the USB, 0.3, etc., etc. Uh, with that, you can enclose everything in a, a shape, a plastic case, like this. And after you have the, the complete shape and you um, remove the, the parts, that, because uh, I can go inside of one of these. And so 
So this is the case. And around here. One second. So these are the electronics with the uh, offset and this is the case. So the, the electronics, uh, I, I subtract all the surfaces from the case and this is a one single piece. In one moment I split the case with a, with a plane that it, in this case was like a curvy plane. That's why the whole, the whole structure is like, um, has a, it's not flat. Like this um, and then after you split everything you create the individual characteristics for each piece for example here you uh, you can see that there is a leap for matching the two parts so uh, it's a multi-layer process you start with electronics then the electronics are thickened um, with more uh, more characteristics like the leads and the screws have uh, extended surfaces so they subtract from the from the model then you enclose everything in a cool looking case whatever or, or actually is one that fits the your printer so on the the overhangs are not that uh, um, big uh, you split that and you can get two models individual models and then you work on the individual models for adding some extra characteristics. And in the end, there is a process of like, after you print a few iterations, you correct some of the, in, in, in this case, there is some direct edit here. As example, for example, uh, we can see here, the, I noticed that the um, SD had too much, uh, space in one side so it was i mean it's difficult to access because it's so low but you can access with a coin or a screwdriver but um so those corrections are here instead of the electronic because i don't want to start messing the whole uh, the, the whole design uh, those surfaces if i move them are going to change and then i'm going to start breaking everything so for for the final stage, the changes are in in the two individual pieces. Pieces, so that's mostly what the the whole adventure of creating your own case, and it's quite satisfying when you close everything and it fits perfectly. the The pieces are in Thingiverse, and including the labels for the back part, um, and that's all. Like.